you're watching the Open Telco Infra Summit. I'm Guy Daniels. Now, we've been talking today about the advantages and disadvantages for a telco of building and deploying its own network cloud platform. Well, joining me now to discuss these pros and cons is Diego Lopez, who is Senior Technology Expert at Telefonica and an Etsy Fellow. Hello, Diego. Good to see you again. Now, first of all, what would you say are the benefits for a telco of owning its own cloud platform? Well, I, I would say it's uh, like owning any any other kind of infrastructure. You are, or, or, or yeah, you are in full control of it. It's, uh, it's it's your thing. You can take care of. Uh, specifically, when it comes to uh, to these uh, moments of transition, in which the uh, uh, technologies are not totally consolidated, we can argue whether cloud uh, cloud technologies are, are totally consolidated or not. But uh, I would say that in the case of the uh, in the case of the uh, telco space, it's not yet uh, it's something that is not yet fully consolidated. We don't have a, a, a perfect understanding of the uh, implications of the of the technology, and we don't have the level of control that you know uh, telcos like to have on something that is becoming more and more a critical infrastructure, etc. So the, the the main advantage is about this full control and this capability of driving how the transition takes place, which are the technologies you are, you are uh, incorporating, the pace at which you are incorporating, designing on the changes, etc. This is being in control, being at the, uh, at the uh, helm of the steering wheel, if you like, is, is the, the, best, uh, the, the, the best advantage that would, uh, allows you to make your decisions so not to be so much dependent on, uh, on third parties, on the, the decisions of something that are not necessarily connected with your main use cases, your main goals. Uh, apart from that, there is this tradition and, and continuing and something that would simplify as well this transition is this idea that uh, telcos are very used to, to have a monolithic approach to their infrastructure and their services. Everything is in my realm, everything is under the control of my operations, guys, etc. And uh, deploying your own cloud infrastructure would would continue this tradition and would make uh, this transition to a more cloud native environment so to say easy i would say these are the two main advantages so as you say diego you know control is is, is so so important it's ingrained within telcos what about the the drawbacks though i mean you mentioned their lack of consolidation in your, in your previous answer when would it make more sense to use say the public cloud instead well, I, I, I would say that uh, using the public cloud is something that is as anything that uh, has to deal with uh, not being connected or, or not being focused on the uh, on your on the core of your business. When we're talking about cloud infrastructure, we're talking about infrastructure. Uh, we're talking about something that is used to provide the uh, uh, connectivity services that uh, we telcos provide, but are not necessarily part of, of those services. They are essential. Um, and, the, and the example that we could use better for this would be uh, precisely the uh, uh, electricity or the, the, the electricity supply. We heavily depend on that, um, but we are not, uh, we, we are not uh, running our own uh, uh, power grid for, uh, <coughs> for providing the network services. The, the main advantage is, is precisely this, you, you, you have a decoupling of the, uh, of, the, um, of the services you are providing, of the, of the main product you are producing and selling from the infrastructure that is being used for, for providing them. And then that uh, well, externalizes somehow risks and, uh, and, and issues that are related to the, um, uh, to, the, to the running of those infrastructures simplifies management and simplifies as well well the, the the kind of workforce and the kind of knowledge that you have to keep you you may f you can focus on your on your main issues uh, and on your on the and on the on, on the services that are the main goal again these the, this is a, the main advantage and if you look at it from another perspective, in these days in which things are not fully consolidated, they can, if you are smart enough 
to keep a, a certain degree of independence that can uh, as well uh, keep you uh, in a safer side when Mm, the, the, uh, when, when it comes to uh, the evolution of the technology and choosing the right provider, this comes with, uh, with, with uh, an, uh, the additional requirement that you have to, to keep it open. But this is something that is a, it can be a, a, a plus as well, I would say. Well, what about location then, Diego? For you know, for telcos who are who are looking at building out their their cloud infrastructure and their cloud facilities, is it better for them to focus at the network edge in a in a real far distributed architecture, taking advantage of their their physical footprint and 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 also hopefully you know furthering the ambitions of 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 their edge strategies? Well, I I, I insist very much whenever whenever I. Uh, I talk about uh, virtualization, etc. It says very much in something that a colleague of mine started to say a long, long time ago when we started about this. As this networks have a shape, we have. I mean, we cannot forget that we do have a shape. We cannot be totally, uh, so to call it, cloudy in the sense that we move around and we are, we are, we we, we take whatever the the shapes you can imagine. It's, it's important that you, you have to be close to your to your customers. You have to follow topology and you have to, fo to follow geography as well. So there are certain deployments and there are certain cases in which it's very important. I mean, it's essential that you are close to the uh, to the customers and you have to be able to follow these in a in a in a cloud native way that what imposes certain Additional um, additional challenges in the way you deal with the uh, with the edge of the network and, and how you deal with it. And for sure, there are certain mechanisms. I'm thinking of most of the uh, if you think about the the control playing in the mobile call, that can be heavily centralized, and you can and, and we are obliged to to take advantage of it to reduce costs and simplify uh, management. But in other cases, and, and, and I'm talking basically about whatever has to do with the, uh, with the data plane, with the user plane, do we, we have to follow our users and we have to, to be aware that this is something that we have to do one way or another and with better adapt technologies and find um, mechanisms for doing so in a cloud native uh, um, way, which is, I, I, let me insist, is one of the main challenges we have right now. And that's very inter interesting what you say there, Diego, because the network does have shape. Absolutely, it's physical. It has, it has shape. But I, I just want to finish with uh, with just picking up on something you, you've been saying a few times during our discussion. Um, it, it seems that real ad ad advice to telcos is that they maintain choice that you still enable telcos to make the choices that are right for them at the right time. De definitely, this is this is something that is important. We don't have yet a clear view of how the uh, cloud and the interactions of the different cloud pieces should go. And uh, it's important to retain this freedom of choice and the possibility of being Agile enough to adapt to the uh, uh, to the evolution of the of the technologies and to something that has been one of the mantras of the people advocating for for cloud native telco etc. That is about the agility in incorporating um, innovation uh, and bringing new new uh, technical uh, proposals and new mechanisms uh, for for providing the services to keep this agility we 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 have to to keep this uh, uh, freedom of choice now and even more important in these consolidated procedures that we define in the for the future great advice well we must leave it there diego thanks very much indeed for sharing your views with us today good talking with you again thanks to you it's always a pleasure